Okay, there we go. After a little bit of technical glitch there. Uh, welcome to Hangar Ready. I'm JC, your uh, main host. And with me tonight is a lot of people. Jolly, how are you doing this evening? I'm this doing outstanding. A great day. 315.1 yep. is out, and I'm enjoying it. Good. And Numidius, how are you doing? Good. You having fun with 315? Great. And Joshua? <laughs> must be nice. You must not be a Marine. <laughs> and Zuzu, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, I have hair. <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, nobody else knows what shampoo is. And La and Azuzu, this is the first time you've been on the main show, but you've been on uh, uh, Fighter Mafia a couple times. And uh, yes, and oh, okay, that's weird. Um, uh, Azuzu, well, that's all that matters, Jan Jolly. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Jolly, go over full screen on Jolly. Let him entertain him for a second. All righty. Uh, anyways, Azuzu. What Azuzu is saying is that he's one of the more um, follically um, enhanced humans we have on this organization. And so I, we appreciate that. Whereas Josh, myself, Gnome, uh, we, to be honest, are a little bit jealous there. And so be it. It's the way it's supposed to be, and I'm all right with that. Can you hear me, you hear me at all? Oh, I can hear you just fine. It would appear <laughs> no one else has. I can't believe that anecdote has been I, wasted I, on you this, five. This may be intentional that uh, both you and Josh cannot be heard. <laughs> uh, I think it's something that Jay established, you know, just that's the way it's supposed to be. There's no problem with that. Can you guys hear Joshua now? Yes, they should be able to hear everybody now. Okay. So, okay, let's try this uh, one more time here. Uh, yeah, how, how are you doing? Uh, Polly, can they hear you? <laughs> Testing, can you hear me? Yes, I think they can hear you. All right. So, this is your first time being on the show. You want to introduce yourself real quick? All right, I'm Polly, uh, Director of Mission Support Services. Been with ADI for oh, a little over three years now, I think. And we get to talk to you about medical stuff, since that's yes. kind of your specialty right now. Finally had some game mechanics. So <laughs> after that interesting to do and intro, let's uh, now that we seem to be working and everybody can hear everybody. Uh, McGee is saying he can hear Azuzu just fine. And then he uh, has a frowny face. So. <laughs> oh, wait, it, it should be. It should be a frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> it scares me a lot, too. Um, let's talk about segment number one, which is the expo. Um, yesterday was uh, Anvil. Today is RSI. Tomorrow is Aegis. 22nd is Alien Day. 23rd is Crusader Tumblin. 24th is Origin. <clears throat> and there should be a graphic up for this. Uh, 25th is Industrial, 26th is Drake, 27th is Misk, Day 10 is Best in Show, and then basically the 11th through the 13th is Buy Stuff Days. So, um, Jolly, what are your thoughts on all the uh, time and effort they put into the Expo, and uh, do you think it's really worth all the programming effort? Uh, yes, I'll say yes, because quite simply, they 
doing the same thing this year as they did last year using Microtech again. So they didn't have to make something new. They did add, change things around. They obviously changed the ships that were there. Uh, there's a really nice um, graphic about uh, uh, Microtech. There's a big, you can see Microtech right there in one of the displays. So it's nice. But to be honest, eh, been there, done that for the most part. Uh, I appreciate their effort. I also appreciate the fact that they didn't waste too much time. Dupl they simply duplicated what they've done before and put it out there. I enjoy looking at the ships. I enjoy the ability to uh, rent the ships, buy the ships for 24 hours or so during the uh, the event. And, but again, I'm looking at a lot of big space out there uh, filled with components that I can't buy. Yeah, not so sure it's that great. So, But I'm not going to ding them. It still looks nice, but... I don't think it's, it's no for different. you, Jolly. I think it's, it's for all new about me, Josh. No, it's for new people <laughs> and for people who don't spend every possible dime on Star Citizen to rent and test ships. I know your hangar is full of them, so you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Nam, what are your thoughts on uh, the uh, Expo Day uh, weeks every year or two? Weeks, uh, well, as it I think they're worth it uh, as long as it works. And this year, unlike other years, they seem to have gotten the patch out where it's in a stable state. and uh, That is a first. I think, right, and I think that's why we'll talk about it later, but there was an easy anti-cheat. They were trying to load into th the 3.15.1 patch, and the very last build, they removed it because they simply couldn't get past certain issues they were having for some edge cases, people who weren't going to be able to play. So they stripped that out in favor of making sure they didn't break live just in time for the show which I'm glad that they got that mindset now. And that, uh, so that, that is amazing. The worst cause... thing you, you, of all times, this is when you want the game to be its most stable, when you have new people getting their first experience. I so. would agree completely. It's uh, for the last four years they've been doing this expo. It's uh, every pa every year the patch is a mess. You're lucky if 10% of the people can get in and check it out. Um, Polly, what are your thoughts on the expo every year? You like it? Dislike it? I do. It? I do. I I, uh, I like it. Uh, matter of fact, I was just walking around there a little bit ago. Um, saw the hologram of the Liberator, and they got a hologram of the uh, Scorpius as well right now, which is uh, kind of cool. I'm still not going to buy it, and it doesn't look anything like an RSI ship, but it is kind of cool. I yep. And Azusu, what are your thoughts? Uh, <laughs> I think we need to call it what it is. It is a ship sale. It's a, a it's a showroom. And it's an opportunity for people to see what they hope to sell. So, um, yeah, I like it. Speci specifically this year, I really like the flooring, the floor that wooden flooring. Don't, I don't know why, but I like it. And the signs as well. You can walk up to some of the signs. They've got text on it, but there's also a play button. And you can play, and it will talk the audio back, which is absolutely superb. I've not seen that in-game. I quite like that. It's a nice little touch. And if these... Uh, if they're using the expo to bring about those kind of little tweaks and, and new bits of tech, then uh, then I'm all for it. I still wish there was a bit more uh, gameplay involved around the uh, around the show, so that I could invite other people to play. But at the moment, it's still a uh, car lot, um, and hopefully in the future it'll it'll evolve into a big event. We could only hope. And Josh, what are your final thoughts uh, on the expo? Well, I think it doesn't matter because it works. If you watch the fundraising uh, links and you see that they bring more money and I'm happy for it, I'm happy they do the free fly. I actually wish they would allow a free fly event throughout the year where maybe you only could fly some of the starter ships or something to give people an event. But I think it creates, it creates excitement and I think it's a good thing. So I may not enjoy it as much as I did the first time, but I don't think it's all for me or you. Uh, I think it's a lot for the new people and people to rent ships. So I'm all for it. Uh, hey, Jay, real quick, final, final comment. Yep. Uh, they should have done it at Orson. Point blank, they want us to go there. If they had done it there, we'd be there. Well, but thank God they didn't because Orson's such a nightmare to get in and out of. It sucks to get in and out of, but <laughs> yes. it's really pretty. It is beautiful. And et cetera and stuff like that. Although, although mm -hmm. and I think we're going to talk about this, uh, mm -hmm. I think that um, New Babbage is a lot prettier now with the new volumetric clouds. Yep. Yes. That's my personal opinion. So... Um, what do you think, uh, Nam? Do you agree? Uh, volumetric clouds uh, 
beneficial or no real change? Uh, no, it, it makes a huge difference, and I got some pictures when we get to that that kind of demonstrates um, just what it does to the appearance of it as you approach the planet. Okay, and uh, you know, Holy, I'm going to get put you on the spot. What are your thoughts uh, on why they didn't do it at Orison? Well, um, I'm not truly sure about uh, Orison as as a destination. It seems like it's uh, a little bit difficult to get in and out of. And uh, quite frankly, last time I was there, I couldn't get ATC to talk to me. I must not have paid my parking fines or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I wound up having to, uh, to leave and uh, head back up to uh, Alisar. Um, as far as the volumetric clouds go, every time I've been to Microtech since it's launched, it's been dark, so I've been able to see them. Really? Yeah, I know, right? It's good that's, timing. Uh, that's good timing. Yeah, bad timing. Bad timing all around. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I, I got into 315.1 quite a bit working on uniform stuff for ADI. Still not done. And, um, I, you know, it, it's it, it's the volumetric clouds look nice at, at New Babbage. They really do. I, I was kind of pleasantly surprised. Um, but Orson is in such a deep gravity well that it's uh, hard to justify uh, flying down there to visit it, even though it is pretty as all get yeah. out. Yeah, I think there's another thing about Orison that made it a bad idea this time, at least. Uh, Port Alisar is still Port Alisar, and it would, if it was at Orison, it would have drawn a lot more noobs there, and it would have been a griefer's paradise. It's already kind of crazy there right now. It's very so, crazy there, right? It now. would be a bad for that would be a bad first experience for a lot of people to be getting pad rammed at or, at Alisar. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know what they're going to do about that long term. I, I really hangers, hangers. hangers oh yeah, that's their they're going to have to replace the Port Alisar, which will make it no longer Port Alisar because the whole reason people stayed with Port Alisar is you spawned in a bed, you ran downstairs, you pulled the ship, and you were in the ship all in a matter of you know thirty to. 50 seconds and uh when they start putting hangers and elevators and all that stuff there it'll be uh it will it won't be the same it won't be as good right so well they're just I gonna do, slap an r and r there i do a lot of testing and i gotta tell you the time frame for doing all their testing out of port olisar is why i like that place um you have quick access to ground vehicles at a place like damar and i think that it's a um, if you're going to get in the game and actually see how things work and break them down, you don't want to be spending half your time on a train. Yeah, I Grim completely Hex. agree. <laughs> yep. There's oh, also no convention center at, at Orison. There's nowhere for them to actually hold the event. Oh, come and, on. And, use and your imagination. They could put them outside. It could be one. an outdoor event. Yeah, one. but that takes development time. And I think they, they wanted to just kind of... But I think what they've done is, is enough development time that um spout you know every single landing zone having an expo hall because of the cycle of of the new landing zone this year just that that's where the expo has to be that that's not where it's going to be these these uh, these centers need to be just a few and unique and and yeah that works for me i don't think i don't think we needed that this year yeah it's not not like they're going to do that in pyro anyway because they're going to have an expo in pyro i don't see that happening <laughs> <laughs> well everything's going to end up on bricks pirate expo <laughs> Mark my words, next year it will be at Orson. No Probably. question about it. It will definitely so. be at Orson. There's no way around it. So, um, Okay, guys, uh, we're sorry for the technical issues. I think that's uh, us talking about the Expo. If you guys have questions about the es Expo, and I'm sure there are some, um, or your thoughts on that you want to hear from us on the expo or Orison or any of those things, uh, how, uh, throw them out in the chat. We're going to go to break real quick. And when we come back, we're going to start talking about what's actually new in 3.15.1.